Can I help you? Do you know you would look fantastic in a widescreen? Uh huh. <laughs> 70 millimeters. Look, do you want to see a menu or what? Let's negotiate here. What's your soup du jour today? Soup of the day, you got a choice of Polish duck blood or cream of kidney. Beautiful, beautiful. Kick me in a kidney. You got it. Uh, any oyster crackers on your seabed? Nope. All out. What about your specials today? Spread our options. You got your deep fried gizzards. Fabulous. Cas ranch with okra. Ooh, you're a temptress. And pickled pig's feet. Pig's feet, I love it. Put me down for a quadruped. If you say so. <laughs> any sprouts to go with those feet? Iceberg. So be it. Ow! Hey there, Marcus. What's up? Jesus. What's going on? I don't... I don't get it, Al. I don't understand. You want something? You want a drink? I'll call the waitress. No, no, no. Don't even try. I don't know what's going on today, Al, but it's weird. What, like? Right from the time I got up. What is it? What's your story? Well, this morning, I go to the drugstore to buy some aspirin, right? This really big drugstore, right? Mm-hmm. I go up to the counter, and the guy says, what can I do for you? And I say, give me a bottle of aspirin. And he gives me a funny look and says, oh, we don't have that, sir. And I said to him, you're a drugstore, and you don't carry any aspirin? Is there a bufferin? Yes. Advil? Yes. Extra strength Tylenol? Yes. <laughs> but no aspirin? No. Wow. And that's the kind of weird stuff that's been happening all day. It's like I go up to the, it's like I go up to the newsstand to get the daily news, and the guy's never heard of it. Could have been a misunderstanding. I asked every place, no one had it. I had to read the Toronto hairdresser. Or this, I go to the deli at lunchtime, and that guy tells me that they don't have any pastrami. How can you meet a deli if not, and not have any pastrami? Was it a Korean deli? No, it was a kosher from Jerusalem deli. Oh, we don't carry that, sir. He says to me, have some tongue. I just got in a cab to go to 56th Street, and the guy says he doesn't go there. He offers to take me to New York instead. Mm -hmm. Look at me like I'm some alien or something. Mark, settle down. Oh, I don't go there, sir. Mark, settle down. Take a breath. What is it? What's happening to me? You're in a Philadelphia. I'm in a what? You're in a Philadelphia, that's all. But I'm in... <laughs> yes, physically, you're in New York. But like, metaphysically, you're in a Philadelphia. <laughs> I don't understand this. You see, what we know as reality, there are these holes, these pockets, these black holes called Philadelphias. If you fall into one, you run up against this kind of stuff that's been happening all day. Why? Because in a Philadelphia, no matter what you ask for, you can't get it. You want something done, it ain't gonna get done. You wanna go somewhere, you can't get there from here. Good God, so this is very serious. Just remember, this is the in town who invented the cheese steak. Something that no one in his right mind would willingly ask for. So what do I do? Best thing you can do is wait it out. Someday the great cosmic train will risk you off the city of brotherly love and off to someplace happier. I don't know, man. It seems difficult. I hear ya. Is your name Alan Chase? <laughs> it is indeed. There was a phone call for you, your boss. Okay. He says you're fired. Cool, thanks. So anyways, you have this problem. <laughs> Did you say you got fired? Yeah. I wonder what happened to my pigs. Ah! <laughs> you loved your job. Hey, no sweat. How can you be so calm? Easy, you're in a Philadelphia, and I woke up in a Los Angeles, and life is... Beautiful. <laughs> she packed a lefty this morning and sprinkly scarf. Toss him, pitch it to Jack and Dusty, and you got a buddy movie with the garment background. Not relevant enough? We'll throw a hole in the ozone. EC. EC. Environmentally correct. Have you heard of the hole in the ozone? Sure. Oh, Marcus, I love this concept. Sure, some people will get hurt in the process, while others will tan a little faster. <laughs> You're a mass man. <sighs> you want my advice? Sit back, order yourself a butt and a burger, and enjoy your Philadelphia. And chill out for a while. But I can't order anything. Life is great for you on your cosmic beach. And if I order anything, I'll get like a cheesesteak or something. No, there's this very simple rule of thumb in the Philadelphia. Ask for the opposite, and you'll get what you want. If you want pastrami, ask for tongue. If you want the news, ask for times. Oh? 
work straight with women. What's more opposite than the opposite sex? Uh huh. So, would you like a butt and a burger? Sure, I could use a butt. No. Do you want a butt and a burger? No. I don't want a butt and a burger. No. Good. There's a waitress. Order yourself a butt and a burger. But do not ask for a butt and a burger. <laughs> waitress! Stop! She won't come. You're in Philadelphia. So just figure she can get lost. She can just get lost. You don't need that waitress. Hey, waitress! <laughs> screw you! <laughs> no thanks. Can I help you? Uh, no thanks. What do you have? Uh, well, how about some OJ? Sorry, squeezer's broken. Glass milk? Cow's dried. Eggnog? Just ran out. Cup of coffee? Oh, we don't have that, sir. Got, <laughs> got any ale? Nope. Stout? Nope. Porter? Just beer. That's too bad. How about Heineken? Heineken, try again. Slits? Nix. Bex? Nix. Sapro? Tomorrow. Lone Star? Party Har. Bud Light? Just plain Bud is all we got. No thanks. <laughs> Give me a Bud! <laughs> Anything to eat? No thanks. Name it. Pork chops. Hamburger. Medium. Well done. Baked potato. Fries. And some zucchini. Slice of raw. Burn one! Marcus, that was excellent. Thank you. Excellent. You sure you've never done this before? I've gone all my life and for the wrong thing. Doing it on purpose comes pretty easy. I hear ya. I could have saved myself a lot of trouble if I was asking on asking for things wrong all these years. Maybe I was in a both maybe I was in a maybe I was in Philadelphia all along. You might have been in a Baltimore. They're practically the same thing. <laughs> okay, here's your bud. And one oh cheese. <laughs> No, I ordered cream of kidney and two pairs of feet. Oh, we don't have that, sir. I beg your pardon? We don't have that, sir. <laughs> you jerk! You brought me into your Philadelphia! <laughs> you brought me into your Philadelphia! I didn't know it was contagious. Oh, God, please don't let me be in a Philadelphia. Don't let me be in a... Shouldn't you ask for the office? I mean, since you're in a Philadelphia, I mean... Don't <laughs> tell me about life in a Philadelphia. I taught you everything you know about Philadelphia. <laughs> or maybe you're really not in a Philadelphia. Do you see the cheese on the steak? <laughs> <laughs> the Liberty Bell? <laughs> Wait, just bring me a glass of water. Water? Have that, sir. We don't have water. Of course you don't have water. Something or something. I just lost my job. Susie just left. Me. I gotta make some calls. Excuse me, where's your payphone? We don't have. A of pay course you don't have that payphone. Let <laughs> <laughs> me out of here. You know, life's not that bad in the Philadelphia. Could be worse. I've been in a Cleveland all week. Cleveland? Oh. What's that like? It's like death without the advantages. Really? Care to scan? Don't mind if I do. I hope you won't reveal your name. Sharon. Care to start? Oh, thanks. Yeah. Everyone's gotta be someplace. So. Oh, <laughs> we don't have that, sir. <laughs> <laughs>